Welcome to Expat Hydroponics. This video is intended to describe a hack for a problem I have. It's not easy to determine the level of water in a bucket with a closed lid. The bucket I picked is dark on purpose to limit algae growth, which means you can't see through the wall to see the water level and when it's time to fill the tank as to not burn out the pump. The days here in Texas are mostly hot and I notice that my system uses a lot more water on sunny hot days than it does on cloudy hot days. So I can't really set a refilling schedule. Also it is hard to see inside the bucket through the refilling spout. My job requires that I spend a lot of time traveling and unfortunately as much as I love my family they are just not into hydroponics like I am. I know I'll come back from a week-long trip one day to a bunch of dead plants and a burnt out pump. So I need a way to visually see the level of the vertical tower from the kitchen window and nice cool air conditioning inside the house. I think then my plants will have a fighting chance. I checked online to get ideas from others and I really didn't like what I saw. There were those that drilled a hole in the bottom of the wall of the bucket and then with expensive bulkhead fitting and elbow connector a clear tube and zip tie created something that I think would take too long to make and eventually leak and possibly introduce algae growth into the system. Algae is the bane of all hydroponics. It competes by eating nutrients meant for your plants. My idea is to create a simple float that is visible from a distance. I drill a hole in the top of the bucket and use a short length of PVC pipe that contains a float connected to a rod that goes up and down with the water level. I use the PVC to keep my rod slash float vertical. Off to the hardware store. To keep it cheap, I picked 3 quarter inch PVC. I saw someone online that used half inch PVC with a straw as the rod and a Nerf bullet as a float. But my thinking is that the Nerf bullet will eventually get waterlogged and sink instead of float. An empty chapstick tube is cheap, $1.25 at the dollar store, and I thought perfect for the float. I bought a piece of balsa wood at a local hobby store for $0.91. Cents. However, after testing the chapstick tube, it doesn't provide enough buoyancy to lift the stick. Next, I purchased a small plastic bottle at the same hobby store. A little expensive, $3.19, but I was too impatient to search for a cheaper price. This fits perfect in a 1 inch PVC pipe. Now the easy part. Measure and saw the tube to length. I misplaced my PVC pipe cutter so I used my multi saw. What seemed like 3 hours later I was finished. I then drilled a hole into the pipe as I don't want potential sediment to block the bottom of the tube and prevent it from showing the correct water level. I then drilled the hole in the bucket. I fished out the plastic disc later. Lastly, pushed the pipe into the hole. Then I used silicone I had to connect the rod to the float and seal the air inside the float. I let sit overnight, cut the rod to the desired height, insert into the pipe and then make a little plastic flag with electrical tape. I filled the tank. As you can see, I let the nutrient level go way too low just for the sake of this video.
Finally, I marked the rod with the electrical tape so you can see where the tank is full and you don't end up overfilling as I did. What do you know? It works. You can see that I need to rearrange my plants so I can see the gauge and also I need to add supports for the zucchini and the eggplant. Thank you for watching. If you have a better and cheaper way for a water level gauge, please suggest it in the comments. I'm always eager to learn from others. Like, subscribe, take care, and God bless. See you next time.